This is uh, TG Chills. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an updated video on how to install games in the XEX menu. I do have to apologize for the uh, how bad the graphics are or whatever. Um, the picture, I'm sorry. I'm recording this off my laptop and you could probably hear an Xbox in the background because it's got a double 12 volt fan mod so it's pretty loud. So first we're going to get started. Turn on your JTAG. Um, go over to game library and what I'm going to go through here I'm going to answer some of the questions that I got for my first video and the first one is no it does not matter what dashboard you have on your JTAG does not matter works out to anyone uh, run the XEX menu and sign into an account and then you're going to get this press well I have to press RB and then it's going to bring up if you don't have a USB in which is a lot better it's going to bring up Cache, Content, and, well, I have other folders, but I don't know if you guys are have that or not. What you're going to want to go into is uh, Content, and then you're going to have a 16.0 file folder, and, uh, like an E1000, uh, uh, E0000 folder, that's your account, and then um, you're going to, I have all these other ones, but you're not going to have that. What you're going to want to do is um, press Y. Then you're gonna get this stuff over here. Go down to create. It's gonna uh, ask you to name the folder. Uh, name that one game or name it whatever you want. I name it game. It's easier to find. And then when you're done, just press the start button right here. And then it'll create it. I already have one created, so I'm not gonna do it again. Uh, click on that folder. And well, yours will be empty, but I have two games in here. Um, what you're gonna want to do now is press the Y button again, and go down to create another folder, and name it the game that you're gonna install. So let's say you want Mario Fair 2. Modern Warfare. To. Then you just press the start button again. Oh, I'm not going to. Um, then go into that. Go into the Mafia 2 or whatever game folder you just made and click on it. Now, you're not going to have these folders. I mean files, but I already did it, so I go, I have these. What you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to press Y. And go down to copy DVD. When you click on that... It's going to bring up that message and your disk tray is going to open. Do not do anything. Grab the game you want. Cod, I'm going to do COD 4. Closest one I have. Put it in the disk tray. And cl manually close the disk tray. After you manually close it, wait about 5 to 4 seconds. Sometimes people have to wait 6 to 7. Sometimes they're... Xbox isn't working at the wait like three or four. It depends. I usually wait about five. If this does not work for five, try longer or shorter times. And then once you do that, click confirm and it'll start downloading them. There'll be two loading things across there. If you do not manually close it, like manually close it and not press the and if you press the eject button. It's going to screw up your JTAG. Personally, for my JTAG, when I press the eject button, it just freezes. I have to restart it. Um, it's different. Sometimes it doesn't do anything. Sometimes it does. So remember to manually close the disk tray. And also... Oh, gosh, what was it? it? Oh, if yours just stops after a while, after downloading, or it just goes for like two seconds and downloads, and you've tried pushing it in at five seven three seconds whatever that means your disk is scratched and it will not work you need a new disk in order for this to completely work your disk has to be completely unscratched or once it gets to the file that is scratched it's going to stop and you're not going to have them all and it's not going to work so that's a main problem with people they don't know that their disk is scratched um usually i can give you an estimate for cod four it took me about 30 minutes to download. Uh, Mafia 2 took me about, I want to say 45 minutes to an hour. 
and Black Ops once again took me about an hour. Uh, World at War, probably 45 minutes. And any other games, I have no idea. Those are the only ones I've installed. And then once you install it, um, just put your patch on there or put the modded files and then you're set. Um, if I get enough subscribers, I will make a video on how to put patches and modded files onto a game to host lobbies. And I'll also make a video on how to put the XEX menu on your JTAG with other uh, JTAG stuff like Flash 360 and the Freestyle Dash. So remember to subscribe and for more videos. And this is Teach You Chills, and thank you for watching.